Baby girl, you know what I want. Let me do it to you, do it to you. Let me do you like ah 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 ah. It is like 12 a.m. right? I'm making myself some red raspberry tea. Getting ready to drink my prenatal for the night. And honestly, oh look, 12, 12. <laughs> honestly, I'm looking around and I'm like, I need to do my last minute things to prep for this baby. Like, you know, like my last minute things. So I made a checklist. I need to pack my hospital bag. I need to do laundry. And I need to get my last minute things, whatever it is that I need. Because I, I am still missing a few things. So my doctor recommended me to like, take those primrose oil pills i think they're called um but she said to most likely start doing it next week today's tuesday well today's wednesday actually today's wednesday it's the eighth um i make 39 weeks tomorrow so yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes Jesus! Jesus Christ. I know it's just oatmeal, but is it really oatmeal? Because I'm not, I'm drinking it, I'm not really eating it. It's the right balance of sweet and salty. I feel like with oatmeal and farina, you have to know how to balance the sweet and the salt. You can't just put one or the other, you have to put both because they counteract and they just taste so good together. I wish I did have almond milk at this point. I know if my man was to see this right now, he'd be like, see, but I told you, I was going to buy you another one, but I'm going to fuck up. I know, but it still tastes good, man. I made me a little croissant. I literally just heated up a croissant and put um, hazelnut spread in it. So good. I feel like I'm in Starbucks right now. It is like 9 a.m. right now, I think. I was just on the phone with Medicaid. Thank you for calling your state of health context town. My name is Fonte. May I ask for the spelling of your first and last name, please? Hi, I'm Maritza. M A R I T Z A. I have to get on call with, with my new school because they told me to register for classes. I'm like, <gasps> but it's not telling me how. And tomorrow I have an interview. So that's going to be fun. It's with TikTok. And I'm gonna be like a live makeup artist for them. So I'll be going live a lot. So if you see me, if you see me live, I'm getting a check. Also, I gotta do some sponsor videos. Like I can't believe I'm even saying that out loud. Like I've been saying, I want a sponsor. I want a sponsor. I want a sponsor. I want this. I want this. I want this. I will get this. I will get this. And it's like it's coming true. That just reminded me. Last night, I was looking into the three six nine rule, which is basically like you have to write the same thing three six and nine times every day. And that's like helping, like script, it's like scripted, manifesting, you know, you're like calling it out, you feel me? So I started that last night. So today I have to write it again. And we're just gonna keep it going. We're just gonna keep it going, like no cap. Sooner or later I wanna do a vision board for like the end of the year. Right now my main focus is just prepping for this baby. I seen this like dye, it's like grit um, dye, like fabric dye on Amazon and I want to order it so I can like dye this fabric for the bassinet because it's gray I mean gray goes with everything but like I'm trying to get in contact with my school again I should apply for ASAP too because ASAP helps with like a lot of things so I'm gonna apply for ASAP as well I remember I was on ASAP in Hostos and they basically give you like a metro card they help you with um you know there are requirements which i didn't like like i didn't like the whole like tutoring thing like it was forcible like you had to have like four sessions i think with tutoring and i didn't feel like i needed tutoring so it felt like a waste of time to me so i'm just like and then there was also like that monthly like group meeting or like every two weeks it was like a group meeting for like, all, like, all the other students and i'm just there like i don't like to socialize sometimes like i know it's like to kind of break the ice and stuff but talk <laughs> report a change to your case information like a new address 
or a new household member, press or say three. If you need us to mail you a proof of coverage, let So I freaking missed my HRA call. Great, because I was on the phone with my college. So now I'm just like, now I have to call them again and redo that whole process of waiting. One, they have a certificate for animal care and management. I want it. I want it because I want to work with the animals so bad. And a certificate is easy. Like, it doesn't take that long. So I'm like, we're doing that. Two, they have a studio. They have, first of all, liberal arts and sciences. I've, but it's like, in a, I'm gonna get an associate in arts degree. I was gonna get digital design, but honestly speaking, I need more than that. Like, I don't wanna just know about digital design. I want to really, I noticed like a lot of the art that I wanna learn and I wanted to go to school for was fine arts, which means like literal studio art. I really wanna do ceramics so bad. I wanna learn how to paint way better. Also like you get art history and stuff, which I'm excited about because I did really like, I enjoyed art history back in St. Francis. So that's gonna be fun. text over here i'm over here doing this i'm doing this like it's a lot my brain is not i can't function okay then you get to choose three electives so i already automatically was like definitely ceramics like hand building i'm gonna do an illustration and i'm gonna do a painting i think because i really want to learn how to paint i should do drawing like drawing too i'm trying to see if i can get squeeze that in there i want my associates in arts degree period I need some psychology in there though too and you can take a world language which i'm like because they have arabic french italian japanese portuguese spanish you know i'm going back to japanese stop playing with me maybe i'll get a better teacher this time you know I need to make a to-do list before I forget, okay? So, so I definitely need to make some copies. I need to make copies, make copies. I need to print birth plan. Um, today is, the, is an apartment viewing, apartment open house. It's today, so I should be going to that later on, hopefully. I want to get some baby detergent and a folder for my documents. I felt like I had one before. Maybe I'll check um, the closet to see if there's one in there. But if not, then you know. But I want like one of those folders where you could just like see everything and you just like flip through them. And you just put like um everything in those like clear laminated papers so i'm thinking about doing that finalize the hospital bag checklist because i still have to like wash things there's some stuff that i want to wash but i started writing down the checklist already i just don't want to bring a lot of stuff honestly speaking i don't but yeah i think that's all for today's to-do list so I'm gonna get dressed, force myself outside. Pretty early in the day, it's like one o'clock right now. So I feel like, you know, I should start getting all this stuff done. Because like I said, the open house is today. I'm outside already. I'm not as, as lazy, you know? So school, everything is situated. Oh no, HRA. I still have to have a conversation with them about Medicaid. I wanna call Jacoby. I have so much to do today. It's like, making my brain hurt earlier i went and bought these like sheet protectors so i can put the documents in so i'm gonna be using that i tried to um print out the birth plan but i didn't because my library card expired so 
I had a conversation with one of my boyfriend's co-workers today, that, and she apparently works at a hospital, so I asked her, I was just like, what do you recommend for me to pack? She was just like, your going home outfit, nipple butter, a lot of the things they give us there, which is true. The Perry bottle, which is in my postpartum kit, but I don't really feel like opening that box. Should I just open the box and I'll probably show you guys what's in it? Um, maybe. I want to bring two outfits just in case because you just never know so right now I have one outfit packed which is this one it's just like the full this I put the socks the hat the shirt the pants everything is all stuck in here so I'm gonna do the same thing with the second outfit that I got we got the cute little Nike right 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 with the little Nike socks that I planned yeah yeah and then this cute little like bare cozy um pants but as you can see it has no footies um we got the little hat and we have this for like under look how tiny it is so i want to put this under for like first layer second layer right so let me try to like put this and then we're gonna put these for like the footies the little footies so oh this has this has the little it has the thing that you can flip it around and make it into a mitten. That's so cute. I want to make it stuck. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the hat to like hold everything in place. That's what I'm going to do. We have her coat just in case because I don't know. I mean, it's, it's getting cold. So like I think we're going to be using the coat. We definitely are. And then we have this one. This one's just cute. It's fuzzy. Little fleece material. This inside of this coat is padded and it's like really nice and thick. So I'm gonna put these two together. I'm just gonna fold this and put it inside the coat. I kinda wanna put the clothes in there too. Like I might as well just have all her stuff packed inside the coat. Yep. We're just like stuffing it in there. I also have a little small receiving blanket and a bib. I don't know. She just said just if I want to just take one with me. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll just take one. This is my swaddle. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to I'm gonna be taking all their swaddles. So <laughs> best believe. But I'm going to bring my own swaddle. She said bring nursing bras. Honestly speaking. I'm gonna just bring the bra that I bought, like the shapewear bra, because you could just like drop it. And I know I'm, I'm most likely gonna wear this when I leave. I'm gonna just bring both because I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling. So whichever one I decide is I'm more comfortable with wearing, I'll just grab that one. My nipple butter is here. So I'll put that in there as well. I'm kind of curious about what's on the box. My friend also gave me a bunch of stuff from her kit that she apparently didn't use like hold up. one of the things she gave me was this perineal healing foam i know my box brings it but i'm gonna just show you guys what it is we also have these <sighs> absorbent pads basically a double date for your the jj i kind of want to open it to see what it looks like but i don't want to waste it while the pad is still in the sleeve fold it in half until you hear a popping sound Shake slightly to commence the cooling and then you tear open and you remove the pad. I don't think I'm gonna be doing cold. I'm more into the heat cause um, I'm into my holistic stuff. And I recently learned about La Cuarentena which is basically like postpartum quarantine where you're just like 40 days out, like you know? And within those 40 days, you're introducing a lot of heat back into your body instead of cooling, because they say cooling actually doesn't help. Like it might help numb a little bit, but I do believe that like heat probably helps more than cold, but I am gonna attempt to try the cold. Like I have some pads also as well in that box, but I'm gonna try it. But then she gave me this with like a bunch of cute little onesies, but these are like short onesies. So I'm just going to put these with all the short ones that I have because I'm going to probably be using these for like layering mostly. Not really. Even though we do have this one long sleeve one, which I do like. I wish I had more of these. There's this little body wash, this little dove body wash. So low key, I kind of want this. I'm going to put that in there. I don't know. I just thought about it. Like to open that box right now, 
I have put that away. So like I'll do it in a separate video because I still don't I'm still not officially packing my bag. We still have to get a few things, so I'll probably put that in with the next vlog. It's so crazy, like me and him are becoming a family. All our documents are together. Like it's just so adorable. So yeah, they gave me this big this big boy right here so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just take out what i feel is like the very important ones like the ones that answer the direct questions one two three like the ones that say like my blood type um my immediate lab results like stuff like that and then everything else i'm just gonna leave in here for like any additional stuff that they want to see for themselves like they can look through but i'm gonna just take out the important stuff because i feel like that's what matters um, they give babies endo, I think it's endomycin, endromycin cream. I think that's what it's called. It's like an ointment that they put on their eyes. But apparently that's for people who have chlamydia. I didn't know that. I just thought like it's normal, but I'm just like, there's, I don't feel like there's any need for that because I don't have that. I don't have none of that. So I got my results. I'm, I'm completely in the clear. Stop playing with me. My due date has changed so much. It's not even funny. All right, yeah, this is gonna take a little while, so I'm gonna go through all my papers and do my thing. Okay. 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 Okay.